Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are on our way to New Oxford, Pennsylvania, 88 miles away, by way of uh, Frederick, Maryland, all the way to New Oxford. Let's get going. This is the road that I was expecting to come out of. That's why I said it dead ends on their gate. But apparently I came in the wrong different road. Not the wrong route. Oh boy. There goes the cabinet. I can't tell you how many times that has happened. Oh. Boy. I gotta take care of this. I'll be right back. Man. Okay. See, there's a, the cabinet, the drawer on the cabinet, if you don't press that thing in, 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 and lock it, it opens up and just falls on the floor, and everything in the, everything on the drawer just dumps all over the floor. As I said, I can't tell you the, how many times that thing has fell over the years it's either you forget to press it all the way in or it doesn't lock when you press it or sometimes if you hit a big bump then it just it ruins your day <laughs> oh. Timing, Mr. Green. Thank you.
Leesburg, Dallas Greenway. That little cabinet incident there just took the wind out of my sail. <laughs> to the right on the A267 Tall West, Leesburg, Dallas Greenway. Virginia 267. West. West. 267 West. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Leesburg, Virginia. This is the Virginia and Maryland that I can live with. It's wild, a lot of trees, it's out in the boonies. It is just beautiful right here. A lot of hills. <clears throat> Supposed to Washington DC's and Baltimore, Maryland. In a way, as you can see, we're about to cross into the state line of Maryland. I had to purposely put my GPS going to the yard because if I don't, it wants me to go all the way to, believe it or not, it goes to, uh, all the way to Baltimore and pick up Interstate 83 North to 30 West. 
for some reason the Rand McNally Overdrive 8 Pro GPS does not like to take Highway 15. So I have to always manually input uh, going to the yard, going to St. Mary's Curve warning ahead. College. And then from there it will uh, go to New Oxford. Maybe some kind of a weight restriction? I don't know. It's weird. If you follow the GPS to New Oxford, it'll take you, I don't know, 100 miles longer I think it is. It's really, really far. So you have to, you have to kind of finagle it and this is the Potomac River. Yes, you heard me right. It's the Potomac River. Around here they call it the Potomac River, but hey, I'm reading it the way it's spelled. Potomac. Okay, so from here I am going to set the GPS to go to, let's delete that, let's go to St. Mary's in Emmitsburg, Maryland. Alright, just to demonstrate how crazy it is, if I was to set the GPS directly to New Oxford, check this out.
yeah, somewhere around here is the old ADL shop, which is no longer in use because, you know, that guy, Long Haul Larry, he quit, and, uh, yeah, nobody's doing the, the Democrat mechanic doesn't show up anymore. There's enough lumber there to build a house. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Emmitsburg, Maryland. We are about to cross into the state of Pennsylvania. Quite a ways up there, yeah, but... Uh, so see, Mount St. Mary's University, that's where I got the GPS. Manually set to. That it will go through here. To your left is the St. Mary's College. St. Mary's University. Continuing our journey to New Oxford, Pennsylvania. 22 miles away. Temperature here is at 68 degrees. Local time is 12:47. Yeah, this is still uh, Maryland. Chubby's barbecue. recently just learned the other day and yesterday that uh, the great man Moses was not even a Jew. He was a, a Chaldean, a pagan religionist of all kinds of things. And the encouraging story of that is that uh, you know, in the 
Old Testament, the Jews were the chosen people. And you're thinking, no, I'm not a Jew. But Abraham, the great man, is a prime example that you don't have to be, you don't have to have a special pedigree to be chosen by God, right? Welcome to Pennsylvania. You don't have to be a perfect religionist, moral person to be chosen. God can choose whoever He wants. Our job is to respond to His invitation. In Invitation. There you go. Investigation, really. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Oxford, Pennsylvania. We are down to 3.1 miles to the shipper, which we have been there. This is probably the third time. They will be on the left side of the road. We are on the eleventh gear. beautiful summer day. Well, since it's still May, is this considered spring? Early summer? I hope it'll be a long, 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 long summer. The longer the better. Yeah, it, 
the road doesn't even show up on the GPS. Imagine that. Honey locust. <laughs> That's in reference to John the Baptist. He only ate honey and locust. Now you know. Just imagine eating locust and honey. That's it. That's that's all that his diet was. Honey and locust. All right. Well, catch you later. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been assigned to door five.
said they will not take too long. in Canada are turquoise green or blue I don't know why that is look at that it's so big too all right the local time here is uh, 1 48 p.m. temperature is at uh, 62 degrees and Continuing our journey to Northway Junction, 201 kilometers or miles, miles that is. I don't know why there's not a whole lot of people that live here or put up some kind of a cottages, you know, like summer cottages. Maybe they're not here. 